And welcome back to Mega Man X, as played by the Radical Game Guys. We begin this episode with... Sting Armadillo. Sting Ar... You lied to me! He's Armored Armadillo! Are you just going to do all the poses? Yeah. Anyway, on the previous episode, we defeated both... This doesn't seem very difficult. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! We just went, just like, flying. <laughs> Went, Super jump! I went from 0 to 100. <laughs> Get it? 0 to 100? Ha! No. Ha! From hero to zero. From hero to villain. Oh no, dude. He's coming for you. Oh. Mm. Oh, look at those skills, dude. You know exactly where that energy tank is, huh? It's not right in front of me or anything. It's actually not. I read it in between episodes. Wow, dude. Didn't you have something you wanted to, like, ask me this time or something? Oh, yes. But I have to go get to my phone. Oh, uh, you don't remember? What came out this today, 21 years ago. 21 years ago? 21 years ago. So, 95? 95. I was a wee lad of five years old. I was Bobby a wee was lad a of wee like lad of not even a year of negative a hundred. No, I was I was definitely alive. Bobby sixteen. Sure, sure. How crazy is it you think that someone that is sixteen was born in either ninety nine or two thousand? How does that make you feel? People born in uh, ninety eight can do porn this year. Thank you for your observation. You're welcome. Um. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, so this is 90, 95, okay. March 95. I'm going to guess it's a Super Nintendo game. Uh, sure. Sure? Is it Chrono Trigger? Uh, no. Okay, I didn't think it was. Hmm. Is it, is it a game that I own? I don't think so. Oh, I don't own it. Okay. Jeez, this is gonna be tough. Can I really get the boss? Yes. Wow, that was disappointing. This level is very short. You know a thing or two about that, don't you? Nope. We're just gonna awkwardly stand here for a second as you like look up stuff on your phone. Yes. He was running on air. Do you run on air? Actually, it came out for the PS1 21 years ago. Oh. So this was a launch game. Was it Ark the Lab? Nope. That's a good game though. PS1 Japanese launch title. Jeez. I'm not familiar enough with the launch titles to know. <laughs> Did you see that? That was very easy. But you were almost dead. I don't know, man. I, I don't know. Tekken. I can see. Te ah, t <laughs> Fudge! It's a Tekken. Oh, tartar sauce. <laughs> but, you know, gotta have the SpongeBob. Fish reference. sticks. <laughs> Fish paste! Oh, kelp. That whole stage took less than four minutes. <laughs> Good. We might be able to do three in this episode. I don't I don't think kelp was ever an insult. What came out yesterday, ten years ago? For the DS. Okay, I so I think you're gonna get the two oh, is it something really <laughs> random? Yes. J then why the crap would you ask? Just to see if you know. Jeez. That's the spotlight round. My, March 30th, 2006. Yes, for the DS. Alright, I gotta think back to what was I doing? March 30th, 2006. I was probably was. regretting my Xbox 360. You were, so. ten, you were 10 years old. I was 11, sir. Um... You're telling me it's something random. Yes. 
You own this game, just not the DS4. Well, you own one of these games, but not the DS4. One of these games? Yes, it's it's a it's a dual pack game. Two and one. Is it East one and two? No. Okay. Two. It is an RPG though. Is it the Xenosaga thing? Yes. Oh my gosh. Xenosaga 1 and 2. I wasn't expecting it to be something exclusive to Japan. You know it's like you know it's like completely different too from the PS2 games? I'm sure, I'm sure I'm I sure haven't even imagine. played the PS2 games. But I think I think like it's basically like just for like the story. That was the whole reason it was done. Good. I think they made some slight modifications to it or something like that. I, I was always kind of curious about about that. I might buy it. It's not expensive. These things are the worst. Like how I got that, but I didn't get Tekken. I could have given you some more information and take it like it was a fighting game, but I would have given it away. Yeah, I would have known then. It would have been really obvious. Did you just dodge the instant death spikes? Yes. This thing is the worst. Oh! Dude, you are just living on the edge in this episode. We got the episode title now. Living, living on, on the edge. edge. Will you die? Living life on the edge of a knife. There you go. It's dead. Like you are inside. You know, gotta keep, gotta keep it going. <laughs> gotta keep the running joke going. That no one else knows about. Was neither time on camera? No. Jesus. What was last night in a text message? Well, I know, I know that. We're gonna go fight this. The, here's the boss of this level. This is interesting. It's Grandpa. I guess it looks kind of like a whale. Mechanical whale. I'm quite familiar with what whales look like because uh, I have to look at Michael all the time. Yeah, I have to look at Grandpa. My Grandpa got turned into a whale. Michael's favorite Pokemon is Whale Lord. It is. Why not Whalemer? <laughs> He's my favorite little cup. Favorite little cup? He's my favorite little cup. Is that what the little cup is? You can only use like basic Pokemon? The basic Pokemon that can evolve at least once. So I could I could use my, my Sneasel. You can use your Sneasel. You can use Diglett now because he's unbanned. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but it happened. How was he banned? Because <laughs> he has a sand trap. He has a arena trap. Has one of his abilities. What's that? Uh, you can't switch. Oh. <laughs> it's our it's our friendly Mr. Dragon. I remember this guy from the last time we were playing this game. Like how he just casually lets you ride him as you <laughs> shoot, shoot him in the head. Like, oh, don't worry, bro. I can take it. No yeah. hard feelings. Yeah, I can take this. Stop shooting your lemons at me. Now they do come up with lemons, don't they? <laughs> Did that really happen? Whoa, whoa, whoa. When I have a dream that like one day we're gonna beat this guy. It won't be in this episode. It's like there's a five part. It's like like a four part episode. <laughs> killing, killing the, killing the sea Fighting. dragon. The, part the duel one. with the dragon. Uh, you know, we'll be like Yu-Gi-Oh X. <laughs> part, uh, 
Dueling the Dragon, Part 1. Dueling the Dragon, Part 2. I... Yu-Gi-Oh. It's like there's a... There's always... There's always one episode and then a two-parter episode. Then another episode that nothing happens. Then a two-parter episode. And they got into those, like, four-parters. Those are usually the ending. I don't... I don't get why, uh... This phase. The duel with Merrick is like four episodes. The last episode is them just talking for literally 20 minutes. You know who you know who we're about to see again? Who? The dragon? Mr. Mr. Dragon. Dragon, dragon, fight the dragon. Dragon Ball Z. God, I remember that. The very first time I ever saw Dragon Ball Z was on a VHS that I rented from Blockbuster. The first the first time I ever watched Dragon Ball Z it was on Toonami. Well, I watched all my f favorite shows from the 90s, like Sailor Moon and Gundam Wing and uh, Cowboy Bebop. I don't remember uh, Sailor Moon being on there. It was. It was in the first running. That's how I found out about Sailor Moon. That's my favorite anime ever. Are you for real? Yes. Until they start adding all the weird scouts. Cause like, the only ones that I can remember watching are, uh, you know, Dragon Ball Z, mm -hmm. and I remember watching Gundam. Gundam Wing is on there forever, they replayed it like a hundred times. Then I remember like, Dot Hack. I don't remember Dot Hack being on there. But I don't remember, I don't remember Sailor Moon, and I don't remember, I don't remember Cowboy Bebop being on there. Cowboy Bebop might have been on Adult Swim. And that's what I would think. I can remember when Adult Swim first started. I was like six. It was glorious getting to watch it. Sure. I didn't get to watch it very often though. Because like I didn't have cable, but my dad did. So whenever I went to my dad's for the weekend, I would cable it up. You die. There we go. No more of these things. Man. I'm getting kind of lost in thought over here. Let me get you more lost in thought. Now what are you doing? What came out uh, nine years ago in Europe? Nine. For the Wii. Not, dude. Nine, okay. Nine years ago today? Yeah. No, yesterday. Yesterday, the thirtieth. No, I'm not even gonna spit waste it. I'm gonna die anyway. There we go. Jeez. Hmm. All right, nine years ago would have been two thousand and seven. Yes, for the Wii. Do I own it? No. Two thousand and seven for the Wii in Europe. Game Grumps has played this game. That doesn't help me at all. Um I don't I don't know. I I concede. Metal Slug Anthology. Yeah, I would not have guessed that. Why aren't you winning? I don't know. Why are you about to die again? You're very dead. This seems like a bad situation.
Well, it was released 16 years ago in Japan for the game, game the Dreamcast. 16 years ago? Oh, yeah, so Sonic that. Adventure 2? No. Are you for real? Yeah. 16 years ago yesterday for the Dreamcast. Shinmu? Nope. I'm just gonna, like, you guess. Do not, you do not own this game. I'm just gonna, like, guess Dreamcast games. Okay. Typing of the Dead. No. I didn't think so, that'd be too cool. It is a popular game, though. I don't know if it's popular on the Dreamcast, but it is a popular game. Hmm. It's a fighting game. Oh, Marvel's Capcom 2? Yes. See, like, when I actually have a lot of information to go on, it makes it really easy. Yes. Honestly, you probably could have just said Capcom. That would have narrowed it down to two games. I mean, not not really two, but... I guess not even that many, but... No, that one's too easy. What came out nine years ago in Japan for the PS2? Yesterday. Alright, nine years ago yesterday. You won this game. Is it Tales of Legendia? That was in February. And nine years ago was 2007. Yes. Nine years ago yesterday, Japan. Okay, I was on the wrong year. I was on 2005 because I'm bad. I went the other way. Alright, 2007. Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix? Yes. I'm getting this game this trivia. So You're not getting this octopi. Why is this so hard? Why do I have so many lives? Can't I just die? So I can start this level over? So I can have some armored armadillo thing? What came out yesterday, four years ago, 3DS? Yesterday, four years. So, 2012. In the, in the U.S.? I think so. I was about to say Fire Emblem, and I remember that was 2013. Um, was it Tales of the Abyss? No. You do own this game. On 3DS? Yes. It only comes on 3DS. Okay. Kingdom Hearts Stream Drop Distance? Yes. I, I once again I think I think Tales of the Abyss came out in February. Cause like Japan got it in uh, 2011. What was released 12 years ago yesterday on the PC? What? What was released 12 years ago yesterday on the PC? PC exclusive from 2004. Yes. Is it Half Life 2? No. Is if Half is Half Life 2 even from 2004? Right. That's from around there. I think it's 2004, 2005. I think so. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to feel that stupid. This is an MMO. An M oh, World of Wait, no. Nope. That came out in November. Um. I think it's free to play. Is it like that Eve Online? Or nope. I. There's not that many MMOs. EverQuest 2, no. That's older. Man. Final Fantasy 11 is older. I don't know, make me feel stupid. Wait, is it RuneScape? Which version of RuneScape? What? There were multiple versions? There's three versions. What? The newest one just came out and it looks really nice actually. It makes me almost want to play it if I had to get enough computer to do it. Because it's free. RuneScape 2. I didn't RuneScape, know there was a RuneScape there's 2. There's old school RuneScape. Classic RuneScape, which is RuneScape 2. And the uh, new update. Have you seen the new update? RuneScape? No, I've never played RuneScape. It looks really nice. Makes me almost want to play it. And we beat that level while he wasn't looking. 
I was looking. Did we beat two in this episode? Yeah, we beat, uh... Beat. Dillo and this guy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Next episode, we're gonna take on, uh... The Quang. The Quang? In wherever that is. Alright. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Remember to stay rad, and we'll see you next time on Radical Game Guys.